Hey there, YouTubers. Stan Strong. It's still VBA is fun. This is a question from a gentleman named Grant. He's trying to help out a, a local uh, clinic or hospital. He's trying to make a um, a user form that does some data entry, and it's pretty well HIPAA compliant. As you can see, the names are Disful Dis uh, first name Advis. So very nice. Uh, anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt F11 to go into the Visual Basic Editor immediately. Now let's take a look at what the error that he's getting. As you may be coming across this error at some point in your VBA career as well. Now all the menus are, are not really active necessarily, but we can just fill in something uh, for some of these. And what I really am interested in is clicking Add Details. So I'm just going to click that now. So there's a Compile Error. And what we see is that I row is this I row thing to get the last row is giving you an error. So WS as a worksheet that looks good. Worksheet one is it's called sheet one. Well I don't really see a worksheet called sheet one. Um I may update that as well. But I don't think that's the problem necessarily. Let's just change that to input details. Which is the worksheet that we're concentrating on. Um, I really think this doing this find thing is either having some kind of syntax error or something. Um, and there's a really an easier way to do that. So I hit F8 and it's not liking that either. So I'm just going to kind of make a little room here. I'm going to say that I row is equal to WS dot cells and um, we're going to do the standard next row or last row type thing that I teach using dot end and using XL up or XL to left or XL to right or XL down so let's use the XL up starting from the last cell in the whole worksheet on column 1 which is A so we're going to say um, the worksheet in question dot cells and the cell we're going to use for starters the row is what we need first if you hit you hit the parentheses you see you need the row number well, I'm going to take all the rows and count them and that's what I want my starting row my row number to be that you start with and then we're going to boost it all the way up to the nearest one so rows dot count that's the very last no row there is comma and the column is going to be column one that's or you could say uh, a so I'm going to just do one and in my parentheses now do I stop there no because that w what that would do is that would give me cell a whatever one million eighty thousand blah 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 I don't want to stop there I want to take it and go dot end we go to the end going up using XL up so it'll take me um, from the bottom going all the way to the nearest stopping point which is to be right here on A3 and then furthermore I want to take the dot row property I don't want to, whatever is the contents of A3 I just want the dot row I just want the row which is 3 so that's how I gleam number 3 now uh, I like what he's done here with plus one because I don't want three. I don't want to overwrite what I have here on my current line. I want the next line. So three plus one is four, and whatever that's filled out, that it would take that plus one, and it would let you write on the next row that way. So whatever the current row that's being used is plus one is going to be the one that's the one that we're going to start writing on. So I'm going to use my code instead of his and I'm going to comment out the I row and let's just see um, what this in case we have another compiler let's see me dot text box dot underscore surname dot value it looks like there is none called that so let's go ahead and double click here and let's just take a look and see if we can find anything called uh, something or other surname. Okay, so we don't. And let's uh, maybe he was planning ahead. I've done that before. You kind of plan your code out, and then you name your tech boxes, tech boxes later. So 
we have text box and name. I don't see a surname. So I may comment that out too until we kind of know more of where that goes. So let's go back to our form by right clicking, going to view code. It should take us right back. Um, so he's saying in column two would be the surname. It looks like the ID one is in column two here. Um, but that's all right. Let's just go ahead comment that out and just kind of see what we're doing. Um, there's an if then statement. So I'm going to hit tab so it's easier on the eyes there. Everything else looks pretty straightforward. Let's try that again. So I'm going to say blah 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 here and I'm click add details and what if we got text box age so we don't have one necessarily called that yet. Um, I'll comment that out too. F8. Don't have a gender one yet either. Uh, there's a surname one again, which we don't have just yet. And age and gender. So here's what we've got so far. The I row is going to give us the. I wonder if, if there's a, another compile error or something. No? It's probably because I have my screen capture. Uh, I closed Camtasia Studio. Let me see. Let me try. So it may reveal what IRO is now. Yeah, for some reason Camtasia Studio doesn't like that. So IRO is 4, which is correct. We want to start writing on 4. So we're trimming up whatever's in there. If that trimmed up equals blank, then we're going to focus on the name box and then it's going to say please complete the form meaning you better have a name and then it's going to exit the sub prematurely because I don't have a name so that's good please complete the form exit sub so and it, tr it takes me straight to name so I better have a name how about uh, schnoz comma billy and now let's add the details and see if that's all we needed. Test notes. And I spelled that totally wrong. So F8, we got uh, 4, still the row. So if this is blank, no, it sure isn't, so we can move on. So we're looking at row 4, which we've dynamically created right there. Comma 1 on that sheet is going to be equal to the name. Um. And that is on column one, and really column one should be the section. So I'm going to go ahead and just say column three is what he wants, which is where the name is right now. It's actually C. You could put the number three, or you could put C in quotes. It's easier on the eyes to put C in this case. Um, so I'm going to put that, and that, and you don't even have to say dot value, just saying, I mean you can. But I'm just going to say that that cell is going to equal Billy Schnizz in column 3 there. So I hit F8, and it looks like the conditional formatting is updating there. Um, and then there's a message box that says data was added. And then it blanks out your user form. Um, so that's cool. We did have some more data on there. Let me see what we had. We had name, which we were we covered, ID one and section. Um, I really don't know what these are named, but we could certainly try to add that just to help them out a little bit. So let's try that. Put on your thinking cap here. Let's try to do that. WS dot cells. Open parentheses. And you're taking the I row. The current row, and let's just take a let's take a look at column one, which is A. That is going to equal whatever's in the t the combo box right here called section. So let me see me dot. Does he have CMBs, or does he just have um? Okay, what would that combo box be called? Maybe he just named it text box, even though it's a combo box. So maybe it's 
is there a one called section? So a text box section, and then uh, let's copy and paste that a, a little bit here. And then we see that column two is equal to me dot text box. How about it's ID one looks like. And do we have any more information? I haven't filled out anymore. But reference would be column four. So let's just do that just for fun. Column four would be me dot dot text box reference. Okay, so he's uh, has all these labeled already. So and that's what it would do. It'd just go all the way across and kind of fill them in. We've got the row that we need, so we just go to you know column one and two, and then I would put the three right there, and then four, and etc. So let's go back and make sure that it copies everything over. So we know that the name Billy is going to appear right there. We saw that. I'm going to hit F8 to make that part appear as the faz. Yes, I did do that for the section. And I did as the fuz for the ID one. So I'm going to hit F8. And sure enough, that's correct. And then we're going to look at column 4, which is D. And I did not type anything uh, for the reference number, so it'll just be equal to a blank text box, which is n no further or worse than it is now. Then a message box will say that, that was added, and then you create uh, all these things that blank them all out, so you could submit another one. Data added, hit OK. And then it blanks out whichever ones, and make sure that the name field is set focus so whenever it ends it puts the text box ticker on the name field so the name field is ready to start typing another one so that's a very good user form um, that's interesting hmm. I'm going to hit close form. Oh, it doesn't like that. What have I done? Am I in the middle of a macro? Okay, well, that's all right. So, um, I will save this book. And uh, I hope that that helped you figure out the answer to your question there, Mr. Grant. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. God bless.